Oh. I think sound good, sound good. Hello, hello, welcome to something a little new. Guys, I haven't done this in a very long time, but this is mini painting with me, Dr. Colin. Family, 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 fantasy, RPG. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you don't know who we are, what we do, Fabled42, did I do the line? I didn't do the line. Uh, we build community through friendship, gaming, and chaos. Um, this guy. This guy is uh, actually, it's a Wildspire Mini. I uh, started working on him maybe two or three weeks ago. Uh, got one session in on him and then it took a good break. Work, you know, life. Let me know out there, guys, if the music is too loud or what. Um, a couple things. Exclamation giveaway. No, that's not right. Exclamation critical in the chat, and that could get you, would, uh, will get you entered into the drawing for some critical dice. Uh, they're fun. They're critical. They roll numbers, clack and clacks. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so that's the giveaway. Um, this time slot right now, Wednesday nights, is usually uh, filled by a campaign I run in the homebrew world from Wildspire Miniatures called So Long. Um, I'm going to run a little video here in a second, so those who don't know will know. And this guy, I'll talk a little about it, but what I want to do with these uh, little hobby hours is maybe, just maybe, um, bring in some of the players, uh, bring in people to talk maybe some more, ask questions about the campaign. I'm hoping we get, I know we've got some, some faithful out there, some faithful followers, so now's the time to do it. Uh, if this is your first time here for a Heroes of Salon event, let me now play a video for you. Uh, enjoy. Salon. A world caught just outside the blessed fields of Elysium. Home to the migrated Gardinals, celestial animal kin searching for adventure. The Sun Guard are the protectors of this realm, standing against the forces of evil that seek to disrupt a lasting peace. It has been over 100 years since Bell's dark invasion faltered at Boiler Bay. In the north, Helor's warming glow bestows prosperity to the nations of light. But in the south, a new story unfolds. Howdy, howdy. Yep, that's a cool thing I did. Well, with help, of course. Um, the talented Ryan Grand Mason over at Negative 2 Charisma uh, made the video, put it together. We've gotten some pretty cool art throughout the ye year. Years years now two i think two years now um a lot of cool art hey g dubs uh i forgot to say also i got a haircut <laughs> so anyone that has been watching the shows lately um the long hair is gone i donated it um yeah so a little more cleaner cleaner look okay what i need to do is i need to start painting because then i can talk all day while i'm painting but i need to start painting and as I kind of look this guy over, I'll tell you what I like so far and what I see that I need to do. So, uh, the eyes are pretty good. I'm happy with the eyes. This is a great miniature. Uh, uh, this is a Galfram Druid. I'll go over the lore. But uh, he's got a little birdhouse in his beard. He's got a cactus club with that raven or blackbird crow on it. Uh, he's got like armor. It looks like plates of metal strat with straps. So I'm, that's what I'm probably going to do there. But then I was looking and like, man, if you really get down on this angle, he's got shorts. Yeah, cool, shorts, a belt. 
Yep, you can see it all from the little nooks and crannies here. He's got a belt. Uh, he's got a lot of stuff I didn't know if I'd, I'd have to paint, so I've really got to consider that. Hey, get back there. It's all reverse, like, inverted camera work here, so. Excusez-moi. Actually, I didn't invert it. You know what I should do? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's try this out, guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Invert. Transform. Flip horizontal. No. <laughs> right, that didn't do anything. What about flip, uh, flip vertical? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Right, now it looks like he's standing up. Like, putting him in the right spot is going to be cool and fun. But, um, yeah, there he is. Okay, so I know the beard, I was going to do a blonde. He's going to be blonde. He's got hair ties in the back. Those have got to be a color. Hey, I'm going to call, I'm going to say Adam Jr. Is that what we should call you? Uh, or, or, a, or A, Austin, Adam, what's the, what's, what's the, what's the what? Um, so the gold beard is definitely something big. That I, I mean, honestly, if I wanted to, I should maybe just start doing it. But, yes. Well, yes. Golly. No, I should think about these accents, because these accents I can paint over with the hair. So, metal. Let's just start with metal. Uh, we're going to go with polished silver, blade steel, no, filigree silver, polished, let's do filigree silver, why not, this guy, <laughs> yep, that's what inverting a camera will do for you, let's try it up here, beep, 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 filigree, come on, filigree silver. Don't mind me, that, you guys, that's my miniature desktop paint mixer yeah yeah I'm deep in this and of course it's clogged I haven't painted I haven't painted in weeks of course my filigree silver is clogged <laughs> how's everything sound g-dubs everything coming in tin four loud and clear oh my gosh I bent it There's no way this is that messed up. Oh, bro. This is a rough second. Is there any paint in there? What have I done? There we go. Yeah, there's paint. We're good. We're good boys. We're good boys. Okay. Let me get the little guy. The littlest one. Okay, my beer, it, my uh, out, my adult beverage is very close to my watering cup, and that uh, that concerns me. In Paquito. So, I see there are some regulars in here. G Dubs, this is your chance. I know you have been interested in asking questions about the world and everything. Time is nigh. Bill Nye the science guy, in fact. I'm kind of surprised Chelsea's not here. I thought, I thought Chelsea, she's not the one of the ones that needed the time off. I thought that she, as soon as saw, she saw a, a stream announcement, she would jump to it and be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, well, maybe I'll, just, I'll talk about this guy a little bit. So this guy is a Galfurum Druid. Galfurum is the major Dwarven Empire on the first continent I developed, uh, Solramon. I know that's pretty similar to the name Solon, but that's because there's a lot of sun theme in the, across the entire world. So Solramon actually means sun-touched canopy. And it's because there's an elven kingdom on Solomon. And that's what they call the area. The forest surrounding it is the sun-touched canopy. Um, the Galfram Druid, the Galfram though, is the, the dwarf empire. And although it's got the typical features of most dwarf empires, right? It's got uh, mines, it's got forges, it's 
grand halls, all of that good stuff. But in the forests at the base of this big peak, there is a dwarven druid group that, um, believe it or not, don't tell anyone, but I've actually mixed a little bit of the lore between my kids' game and my uh, and this this game. Um, outside of Green Hill, which is one of the settings for quests and everything within Solramon, there is a, an enchanted forest called the Mistglade. Yes, that's right, the Mistglade. The same Mistglade that is the setting for my kids' 5e game. Now, what are you going to do? So, the Galfram Druids are charged with keeping the balance and the, and the peace as many um, fey creatures are want to cross. Something happened. Hey, thanks for the fala. Fala. <laughs> Hala, city of Squala. Thanks for the follow, Bella Nacht. Is that like good night? Bella Nacht. So yeah, these are druids, but they're dwarf druids. And if you've ever, I mean, I don't think, I don't think many people would have thought in the beginnings of this game that it was right to play a dwarf druid. But you know, I'm one of those anyone can do anything kind of people. And I like to play some, sometimes I like to play, well, not sometimes. Only, only now am I actually trying out more cliche, like tropes. But um, I'm definitely like anti tropes a lot of the time, you know. Like, I don't want to be the human sad boy rogue. Although <laughs> my rogue didn't turn out great. And I like where he's at now. Um, G Dubs, that's in my buddy. That's in Johnny, uh, the guy who plays Lupin on uh, Heroes of Salon. His campaign that he runs is kind of a modified Dragon Heist. Is that the one he's doing? It's got, it's at the Yawning Portal. Um, sorry if y'all can't see that. I'm going to get back here in the middle. Um, I really want it to be closer. I think. I think. Now you get to see my belly. That's not really what I want. It's not really what I'm looking for here. This seems good though. Um, that rogue is a halfling rogue, which, every, again, I wanted to play, hey, hey, Brian Marshall Arts, how are you doing, sir? I believe you probably, hey, this is uh, one of the Wildspire minis. This is uh, a Galfram Druid. That light's too bright. Let me try, Ooh, nope. Well, what about, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better, right? Still pretty bright. Uh, enjoy my forest gnome, Circle of the Moon Druid. He's a tiny guy, fun to interact with other characters. Okay, well here's... Right, forest gnome, druid, that's awesome. Perfect. Good combo. When you know, like, when you know the stats, and it's it's good, right? I did... Not... Yes, I did, G-dubs. I donated. I donated, uh, like, between 12 and 14 inches of my hair to Locks, Locks of Love. Um... Uh, I play, I'm playing a halfling, uh, uh, rogue, which halflings don't have dark vision. And I'm a stickler for that mechanic, right? It's not fair if you, like, s s dark vision's so OP. Like, it's not fair. Oh, gosh. Why is it? I'm gonna get this right, guys, I promise. Um. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I was, I've, I've been wanting to do it, uh. That's what I want to do the whole time, was to do the donation. Um, um, and finally, it was like a really uniform length to, um, to donate it. So it was good. And I got the beard. The beard's cut in half about. Took about half of the length off the beard. But it looks really good. I like this, uh, this beard barber that I go to. Um... Yeah, so Halfling Rogues don't have... Uh, hey, Frisky, how you doing, sir? Go Cowboys. I know it's not even football season yet, but soon. Um, yes, we are doing some mini painting. This uh, Galfarum Druid here 
Where's this? Does he not have armor on this? What? You mean your club hand don't have no armor? I don't even know what some of this stuff is, guys. I'm just, I just think they're wraps. I'm just gonna do them as wraps. Cause I don't think he's wearing anything. This, it's, this one's so detailed that it's really hard to tell. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna get this centered thing soon. I thought I had, I had it when I started, but I obviously don't paint in the same spot all the time. So that's going too far that way. There we go. This is gonna be better. This is gonna be better. I'm gonna be here most of the time. I need to just stay in this zone right here. I need a drink is what I need. Welcome everyone, I'm glad you guys are here to hang out. Uh, we're gonna talk some lore, because uh, why not? Um, we're gonna mini paint, we're gonna do some stuff. Man, you are so right. Okay, okay, okay. You're right. They don't have metal armor. These pieces here, I would contest, aren't functional armor. I don't know why it's so bright. Um... But like this, it's a plate. It's an obvious plate on his knees. Those are obviously like metal buckler circlets. I think with dwarven druids, I think dwarven druids get a little bit of a break, right? They should get a little bit of a break. That's my uh, decision, and I'm sticking to it. Fight me, bro. But yeah, these guys, they're in charge of keeping, maintaining the peace amongst the many communities of the Mist Glade. Which, in the campaign that I write out for that continent, um... There's talk and occur instances that the, the druids seem to have maybe um, left their post. They're no longer able to or no longer actively uh, keeping the more maleficent creatures at bay. And that all has to do with building the drama of that first campaign, you know what I'm saying? As a dwarf, I would believe even as a druid, they would be drawn to metals and would trade for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think so. I mean, it's a cultural thing. And as a mechanic thing, I wouldn't call these things functional armor. I would call these items um, accoutrement, you know? Uh, they're accessories. So they're, all, they're just like a paladin to Sylvanas wearing wood. You know, maybe maybe like a wood something. I don't know. Of course he could wear wood. They could always wear wood. It's in their blood. I. It's in their blood. See, that's why I didn't do a freaking dwarven accent, dwarf's accent for Brolin. Because it just, it's not there. It's just, it doesn't exist. It has fled. So now he sounds like he's from Texas. Because he is. I feel like I'm gonna be more right here, right here. Okay, that's enough metal. What I need to do now is get the these act this accent color that's gonna be his hair braids, uh, and I want it to be a deeper green, turf green. Yeah. What's the other one I have? Wilderness green? Wilder- yeah, of course. He's a druid. He's a druid boy. Alright, this is gonna bring out some color, and then I'll do the beard. Um, because it's time. Like, the beard is a lot of, uh, there's a lot of real estate on this miniature from that beard. If you know what I'm saying. Thank you. 
I, I have painted like a theme mini before. I did a uh, pride, uh, a pride like guard, town guard with a with a. Um, it's probably cycling through these pictures at some point. Uh, but a town guard miniature with uh, rainbow boots and shield and stuff. That was fun. They're fun to do. I have I have a now I'm kind of at a point where I have a lot a list of minis that I really want to get done at some point soon. Because uh, they're either part of the campaign or they're um, maybe something I would use in my other game. I've got two bully wug, bully wugs, um, oh, yeah, that's right. and my next kids game adventure is going to be a, it's a bully wug adventure. Um, we're finishing up doing the edits on it, and so to have, paint those kind of while that comes out that's that seems a, a pro a pro pro sauce How's everyone doing tonight? Everyone have a good hump day? I hope so. I was pretty busy at work myself. It is hot. It's cool outside. It should be cooling off here in a minute, but it's a little warm right now. woke up from a nap, been doing server maintenance and internet updates the last two days. So late nights and early mornings to do stuff before or after business operational hours. Yep, that makes sense. Glad you got an offer. About to go back in for the last night of maintenance. Oh, okay. And then once it's done, do you get like... That's kind of a big deal, you know? Like you had to plan and lead up to that to get a little bit of a... Like a little reprieve? Nice four-day weekend. There you go. I do too. Yeah, Friday off. I have Monday and Tuesday off, actually. It's pretty nice. Yeah, cannot complain about that right there. There's only one of those, but he does have wraps on his arm, so I do got to get over here and do these wraps.
Smurt. Oh, really? We haven't actually looked at the weather here, but it's probably going to heat up a little bit. It is interesting what a kind of reaction this guy is going to get. I should just do that whole thing green. Oh boy, how am I gonna get there? This is a weird angle, guys. Let's see. I'm gonna have to clean up that hand. There's no way I'm painting this any other way. That is difficult. Why would you do this, Ryan? Why did you do this to me? Oh my gosh, it's on his beard, it's on his hair, it's on his cloak. It's everywhere. Cool, man. Well, that's all the that's all the paint that's going over there. Hey, Chav Hunter, how you doing, sir? Good to have you.
Cheers to everyone. Hump day. This is one of the Wild Spire miniatures. Did I switch it around? No, I didn't switch it around. This guy. He's a Galfarum Druid. He's a Dwarven Druid. He's got a cool little, um... He's got a cool little, like, uh, tree house in his beard with a little bird in it. He's got a club that's a saguaro cactus with a little bird on it. His helmet is a... His helm is a turtle shell. He's a quirky guy. He's got some stuff going on, you know. He has a lot of mistakes. <laughs> I got to do quite a bit of cleanup. But such is the life. I ain't scared of a little cleanup. Ugh, getting these leg straps are even going to be difficult. I don't know if I'm ever gonna like how am I gonna get a second coat of this on. Getting one coat on has just been very difficult. Why well, I should have done these before I did his skin even. Chab, did you watch the finale of Maddie Morgs' campaign? I stepped in at the beginning, but then I had to get, then I got pulled away. You think so? Yeah, I think it might have even been a two-part thing, though, right? Because it seemed like I joined one time and it was like finale, and I, I don't think they finished, maybe, or maybe it took them a little longer. Maybe I'm wrong. Though. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh my gosh, guys! I didn't even do any of his fur cloak. Uh, under. You can't see because there's no light. Can't see under the britches without the light. Yeah, but I didn't do it. It's not there. I should go ahead and find that color, huh? I'm going to need it. Maybe if I just focus on one thing at a time. I, I haven't even finished this green and I'm already wanting to get out a different color. Whoa now. Whoa. Um, there's a character, an NPC, uh, part of the Green Hill NPC quest pack levels, what is that one? That one's like four through seven. It's a small town. You can put it in any, any world, really. It's your typical small farming town. Uh, but one of the NPC quests involves Akbus, Akbus Jethel, who is from Galfram. She's a blacksmith. And she's actually a pretty renowned blacksmith of the area because she built the weapon of one of the Galfram champions that was wielded during the defense of Galfram uh, against Bell's forces. And the story goes that the champion, whose name eludes me, 
went out to face on the devil champion head to head right outside the gates, the coastal gates of Galfarum. And the first strike the devil made sundered the sword to many, many small pieces. So let's just say Akbus didn't have much of a favored reputation after that. Perhaps one day someone will figure out what happened. Maybe. Maybe, baby. But there you go. Little nugget of lore uh, for so long right there. Who knows that that story will ever be brought up on stream. The first campaign I ran in this world, they uh, they got to hear that story. That was fun. I was told by Dave that he'll know tonight if he's going to play in the side quest. So for those who don't know, the uh, Heroes of Salon campaign is on a little bit of a break. It's probably a lot of shows are, I feel. It's a very, very busy time of year right now. And I feel like a lot of people have been streaming pretty solidly since uh, through COVID. And so I think a lot of people are finding more opportunities to travel, which is great. People need it. They need to go see loved ones. Um, so for my campaign, we're doing a little side, what I'm calling a side quest. It's a little lore two-part miniseries. Um, it's going to be fun. We're going to have some guests. We're going to have some uh, Fabled 42 OGs. It'll be fun. Man, this green is taking me way longer than I wanted it to. Gosh. Gosh, oh golly gee. I really don't care enough to really put much more thought into this. <laughs> It's just, it, this is one of those that this part I want to paint is only going to be seen if picked up, if someone picks it up, you know? Picks it up, looks at it, and then openly criticizes my art. Those are the only people I have to worry about. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. I hope you're having a good night. Thanks for coming and hanging out. But yeah, two-part miniseries incoming. God, I didn't even pick this side. It's going to be fun. It's going to be uh, fast. TW is going to be like, what does that mean? Wonder if there will ever be a Fable TTRPG. You know the Fable. Hmm. Have you actually like checked on some of the more indie platforms like Drive Through RPG? It wouldn't surprise me. Oh, uh, but they don't have open license. Never mind. It would surprise me. Never mind. The reason why people can write games in certain lore, like characters, names, places, storylines, has to do with IP. Um, so fabled IP probably restricts anyone from making a game that they can sell.
So it would have to be official, is what I'm saying. There can't be just someone out there that's like, oh, I'm going to make a fabled RPG. You could, but it would have to be extremely parallel, you know, like uh, not on the same world. No places, no names. The only thing that could be similar is maybe like the uh, class, you know, you could make the classes that you see fitting in that world. Who makes, you should look to see who the um, maker of it is. If, you know, most likely what they would do is they would uh, contract it out or like you know, grant license to a company to make a game for them. Microsoft. Well, then you know what? That actually, you might, I would be one to believe that that might have a better chance of it happening. Owned by a big, big company like Microsoft. Man, I'm messing up every, everything. Everything is trash now, guys. <laughs> but, you can't really see any gray there. So that's fine. Trash is okay. Howdy, welcome everyone who just joined. We are painting this guy. Wait, this guy? No, this guy. <laughs> uh, he's a druid. He's a dwarf. He's a dwarfid. He's adorable. I just flicked paint water on my screen. Cheers, happy Wednesday. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I want to get the color of the brown for the fur because I'm going to need it soon enough. Jeez Louise, guys, why did I not write it down? <laughs> Woodland? No. Harvest? I think. Muddy? No. Harvest. It's got to be. It's got to be. If not... You don't see anyone else in here? I just saw it jump from six to nine viewers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Naughty, naughty. Don't worry, Chev, I can see things you can't see. I have the power. But by our powers combined, Captain Planet. Did y'all see that? Yeah, y'all saw that. Can't escape that. I'm gonna need a lot of that. Ugh. Come on. Man. Um, I never really. I I had to give up those video. Not give up, but severely limit video games I play. Uh, kid and kid and work and everything. So I never played the fabled line. Is fabled the is the fabled line the line that's like pretty inappropriate? Like not to judge, but just to, to in the one where like you can like have babies and illegitimate children. Am I right or am I right? Hey guys, I picked the right uh, brown for the fur. That's nice. I did something good. Really wasn't that much cleanup. What was I panicking about, guys? It's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so it's not like, it's not, I'm not, yeah, it's not inappropriate, actually. Like, it's not like adult, but it is theme, thematic of adult situations. I'm not judging. I grew up in a time of like, you don't see blood. Uh oh. Can't kill kids, that's kind of cool. Good for them. I'm not going to feel like I made any progress if I don't get the hair down. So the hair has to go down. So what I need to do is do touch-ups on the green. Which I really don't want to do. 
Uh, and then I'm going to go back and do the blonde because it's time. And I want to see it. I want to see what this thing looks like with its golden, luxurious locks of hair, you know? Because even though he's a dwarf, he is in Salon, you know? Pelor's backyard. He might as well have a little sun theme to him. I feel like I sounded like Matthew McConaughey when I said that. Pelor's back back door. Backyard. <laughs> Please don't tell Pelor I was talking about his back door. Uh, that is true. To be fair, you can also, in that same sense, you shouldn't have a dwarf chef because you can burn it off on a walk. Because I did that. I burnt a good inch off the bottom of my beard on a walk making fajitas. I was not very happy about that, to be honest with you. That was not great. I didn't, it didn't even smell like burnt hair until I took a shower. And it really smelled like burnt hair. Baby, come back. I feel like I dropped my paintbrush more than what is average. Were y'all? Hey, so I know some Chad. I, I don't. You've come to some of my painting streams before. Were you there when I dropped my entire what do they call them? Can or uh, bucket of uh, my wash, my um, null oil wash. Oh my gosh, that was just tragic. Just spilled the whole thing over. Kick, kick, kick. Which time? I think you've done. <laughs> That's also. No, I don't think I completely did it twice. I probably almost did it twice because I know I still have some of that original bucket. So I know it's not all gone. But maybe it's two spills worth gone. 
That's a possibility, but I thought I thought I just almost spilled it a second time. And then told the story about how I spilled it the first time. That seems like something I would do. Just that aggressive. Is Colin a perfectionist? Yes. But does he let it bother him? Yes. But does he let it get him down? Yes. But does he fight through it? Yeah. Ooh, that is cool. I, I wouldn't mind getting some uh, variety, but I will say that um, I do. Uh, no, I got the books. I am eventually going to get some Warhammer 40k miniatures. Uh, I have some Warhammer Age of Sigmar, which is the fantasy version of Warhammer. I have some of those figures, um, but I'm going to get into 40k as well. I got the books for the Grey Wolves and the Ad Adeptus something. All right, guys. I think the green is good. It needs touch-ups, but touch-ups are all around. So let's get this beard down. Let's do it. Candlelight yellow with some marigold yellow. Not Games Workshop. Yeah, that makes sense. Cyberpunk, the, the like Cyberpunk game doesn't have miniatures, do they? I'm gonna pour lots of this color because I don't wanna have to try to match it. I just want it to be good. Because this is going to uh, this is going to go on pretty generous at first. I know it's a lot. It's kind of a mustery yellow right now, but with a brown wash. Yellow's gonna take some layers though, guys. I don't know if you know this about yellow. Yellow is not one of those colors that's just like, oh yeah, two, two, two coats? Two coats is fine. No, you're wrong. Look on Etsy for pretty ones. Yeah, 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 That you can do that. Um, it's going to cost you a bit more. And people on Etsy are going to want you to help pay for the, uh, you know, uh, the design. That's not a bad idea, for sure. Griffin Co. They have sci-fi? That's cool. I did I did not know that.
Frisky, do you like my little ad frames? I have them going during the campaign as well. Uh, guys, if you don't know about the uh, Fable 42 Heroes of Salon campaign, we're on YouTube. Uh, you can watch our previous videos on YouTube. Uh, new episodes released every Friday morning. Check it out. This campaign is going very well. I'm having a lot of fun. These guys are cool. They really are just getting their feet under them again. We're in episode. Uh, we're in episode. We'll be on episode six next. Uh, and they still know very little about each other. So that's fine. Y'all got you guys got a good view of this yellow. This yellow actually is coming out pretty good on the camera. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk? It's not coming out great on the mini. <laughs> Just because it's gonna need many, 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 many coats. But it is going down. It's going down. You know what I never did, guys? I never did the cloak, back of the cloak. I talked about it. I told you about it. I committed to fixing the wrongs that I have imparted onto this wonderful mini. But I didn't do it. Over promise, under deliver. You know that's the. That's not right. I need to coat the coat. Just want to get this layer of yellow down, like all of it, because it's just it. Like again, it's a lot of real estate on this guy. I want to see this yellow. Probably switch brushes. I'll switch brushes. Brush, brush, brush. Yeah. Back to the little guy. Little guy, uh, make sure if you want dice to enter exclamation critical into the chat. Because even on a chill night like tonight, we're gonna get some dice out. Even night like tonight when to come one. uh i think the command to learn about critical dice is it's not critical that's how you enter it's a uh, crit dice uh nat 20 no. critic no crit thanks mr frisky clicker if you frisky click enough you'll get what you want you'll get what you're looking for that's my motto do you share that sentiment just put your mind to it, you know, and say, this is what we're doing tonight. <sighs> Do 
you in Canada, man. Alright guys, let's take a look at this guy. He's gonna need mini coats, but look, I just wanted that color down, you know? Look at it. Look at the color, it's glorious! Oh! Yeah, oh, hey! Let's <laughs> if I finish this dang pigtail. Ponytail. Are you in Canada? No. But uh, the Canada laws don't allow us that we can, or Quebec, it's Quebec, it's just Quebec. Sorry, sorry Canada, sorry to categorize you in the same breath of air as Quebec. Quebec has interesting giveaway laws. Um, you can't accept giveaways? I don't know what the laws are actually, I've never actually looked it up. I know they're there. Um, You know, what if, like, what if the deal is that everyone in Quebec has so much influence on each other, like, and on the government and everything, and the reason why they don't allow you to accept giveaways is because it's like taking a bribe and you have influence on the way the city's run. Who knows? Quebec. Pay to do it. Then you have to go through... So you have to pay to, to do the giveaway, not to receive a giveaway, right? Alright, again, that yellow is going to need a lot. So I'm going to let the yellow dry. Um, man, this yellow sticks to the brush. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do that back of the coat that I promised I would do. I'm making promises. Breaking hearts. trust that if you guys ever see my miniature you're not going to pick them up and be like did you paint under his butt just don't do it guys <sighs> to play my favorite zombie uh what is it i know one zombie survival rpg and it's called let there be blood no shoot what was it called there will be blood no Something with blood. I'll be. That's not the one I've done. I think it was There Will Be Blood. Is that... Does that ring any bells with anyone? Definitely wasn't Zombie Masquerade. Because I don't think that was... OK, 
Okay, I got that side pretty good. If I can do that same thing on this side, it'd be pretty good. Okay, okay. That is acceptable. That's acceptable. I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, so cloak is good. Let's do another hair. So good, but my buddy got a super limited version for this time. Wait, 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 wait. Zomb That's Zombicide you're talking about? Zombie Animals is the one you're playing? Or is that the one Frisky's talking about? We're on this yellow beard again, getting it solidified, getting that color consistent and strong. Strong like bull. Are you streaming that, Chav? Is this a home... Home experience? Or online? I mean, it's still online. stream but people can try and join the discord well i need tomorrow i need to do stuff with my son and wife has scheduled tomorrow so I'm hanging out with the kid it was his birthday recently so he got nerf guns he turned five so he has nerf guns and so if i had to guess what i'm doing tomorrow night it is going to involve forts and targets and nerf guns That'd be awesome. Uh, I know that currently everyone's kind of tapped out, unfortunately. I feel like anyone that can play d d is probably playing as much d d as they can play. <laughs> At least that's what I think. Guys, this is looking pretty good. I'm going to get you a good close-up here if I can. Lord knows I'm trying to get good close-ups, but I'm actually really happy with the way this is turning out. I need the, this yellow drive, and I'll do some more yellow. There's gonna be a couple layers of yellow, but otherwise, let's see. 
Yeah, he's looking good. There's some cleanup. I can see that yellow on the side there. That's actually not that bad when you look in person. Yeah, it's nothing. That was light. <laughs> but uh, you can see the back. Back's looking pretty good. I like this guy. He's looking good. Summer hours are just tough. Yeah, man. I, I, I don't know, you know. I haven't been doing the streaming game for too, too long. Um, but it's it's COVID and summer, you know? Like, people are able to travel. People are able to get out there and do stuff. So I think that was a pretty big part of that. I'm going to let this dry for a second. And then I'll do another thing of yellow. I'm going to go on a break real quick. Uh, let this dry for about five minutes. So I'm going to go for about five minutes. Fresh my drink. Um, and I'm going to then I'll play the intro video again because I like that video a lot. You know, that's just me. And then I'll be back. So about, uh, yeah, drink break, potty break, all that stuff. I will be back. Okay, guys. See you in a little bit.
Solon, a world caught just outside the blessed fields of Elysium. Home to the migrated Gardinals, celestial animal kin searching for adventure. The Sun Guard are the protectors of this realm, standing against the forces of evil that seek to disrupt a lasting peace. It has been over 100 years since Bell's dark invasion faltered at Boiler Bay. In the north, Helor's warming glow bestows prosperity to the nations of light. But in the south, a new story unfolds. Welcome back to you and me. I'm back too, guys. Cool. Here's the guy. He's looking pretty solid. So I think here's what I, I think this is what we got in store. I think we can get it done relatively uh, quickly. Uh, I'm going to do one more layer of yellow. And I'm going to go in and do some cleanup. And then I'll probably do another layer of yellow. And then I might be able to be on uh, washes. So it's going to get a black wash on the fur because that'll really make the fur pop. And then I'm going to do a brown wash on the blonde beard. You still see the dragon screen? Really? Um, how about now? see me? Did you just hear me before? It's weird that you'd be able to hear me and not see me. I believe you. Cool. <laughs> I believe you. So yeah, yellow, clean up, yellow, and then maybe washes. And then if we can do washes, then it'll be highlights, and then we'll be done. Seems reasonable. Yeah, I think two yellow layers will really round it out. The yellow is starting to grab. It's just yellow is a very light color. And anything that was down on this plastic before the yellow is going to kind of shine through it. Oh, there. Now I got the house. That's okay. That's what cleanup's for. Um, so, like, just the gray of the plastic. Now, I don't prime. I bet if you prime, yellow sticks a lot better. Listen to myself. Why, why would I say that? Why would I sit here and compl not complain, but talk about, like, I know I'm talking about with yellow, and then say, well, if you just do this one step that everyone else does, it's probably not that big of a problem. But that's actually not true. I know that's not true because I watch enough other mini painters to know that they complain about yellow, too. So I feel like even if you prime, it's still difficult. It's still a light color. It still doesn't stick very well right away. So that's the truth that I'm sticking to. There will be cleanup. Cleanup on aisle five. Required. Glad to have Chav here. Me and Chav share a lot of the same Twitch channels that we go watch for both live stream and mini painting. Um, Chav, you the role players, man. I still I, I go to their server on I go to their Discord server server once in a while. See if there's any news. 
I don't know what happened, man. They just, it's, maybe they're all back at work and they just can't, they just can't do it. But I was, I liked that group. They were one of the first groups that I was watching consistently. And they would mini paint too. When I started mini painting, I definitely would share my work with them. Dude, I understand, but I'll ask how much time you put into it. And I ask that for two reasons. One, man, you can see him cycling through here. Like, I haven't been painting that long. I've been painting for maybe a year now. And the ones that I started off were not great. They really, uh, they really, uh, they, you know, it takes time. It's not something you can just start and expect to be really good at because, you know, it's it's a learned technique. Yeah, man. No, no, no. No, that's how I started too. I get it. I really do. I thought I thought I was overpainting everything. I thought um I mean washes. I knew I was supposed to do washes. I did the little guide from Reaper Miniatures cuz I got the Reaper Learn to Paint kits. Uh, see, so you, you know, did you do any of those learn to paint kits? Because like they, they first have you do skeletons and man, overpainting a skeleton actually <laughs> doesn't look very bad. You overpaint a skeleton, you do a really dark wash, just looks like a dirty ass skeleton. And most of the time that's what you want when you're doing a skeleton. The dirtier, the better, you know? So like I did that skeleton in the kit and I was like, you know, I can do this. This is awesome. I can totally paint minis. And then I did the same kind of wash on a person, like a like a human NPC miniature. Ooh, that was not what was supposed to be done. Um, it, it, it basically turned into a dirty farmer because it looked like he had dirt all over him. But now. I definitely have learned some tricks. Uh, I learned my own threshold of uh, perfectionism. You know, like I know, I don't know, I, and I feel like this is probably one of my strengths. Um, but like, I look at a miniature and I can tell you it's done. Yeah, rarely do I ever go back to any miniatures because I look at it I'm like, oh, I missed something. No, when I decide it's done, it's done. And if I find something, most of the time. It doesn't bother me enough to go back and try to fix it. Not all the time, but most of the time. Okay, let's do some cleanup. I already have the brown, the dark brown. I have the metal. I have the hair. I just need the skin. And I remember that being tanned skin. Sounds like this uh, dwarf druid is wielding a Saguaro, Saguaro cactus. It's going to have tanned skin. Sawaro. Uh, G Dubs, I am also excited for next week. I have. I'm really good at knowing how much prep I need. I definitely have five hours. Mm, I have to make a map. I have to make two maps, but only one map by next week. So I'd say five to six hours of prep. All right, I'm gonna clean up some skin first. Why? I don't know. I don't know, because I want to. Get off my back. Fight me.
But really, man, trust me. I think you go back and you look at your old miniatures and all you ever use them for is as a reference to say, man, I've gotten so much better. Guys, I just saw a spot I wanted to fix. I just saw it. It's worth it. And I know you've got tons of minis, right? How many? What's your guess? How many minis do you have? I'm going to guess you have it at least 30. At least 30. Tell me I'm wrong. It could be more. I don't know, honestly. I don't I know you have been around a while. I know you win stuff. It'll be interesting. I don't know. Dungeons and lasers and stuff? Dungeons and lasers? Is that a thing? Or are you just saying from dungeons? And you have some from lasers. And you have some from other stuff. I think that's what you're saying. Yeah. I think you should try. Obviously, I think it's very fun and engaging and relaxing and cathartic. And, oh man, I just stopped painting that entire wrap. I just, it's not, it's a nothing. So there's a cleanup I need to do. Dungeon lasers, they make miniatures, they've done miniatures. That's cool. Very cool. Glad you support the uh, Kickstarters. That's a good that's a good platform. That's what me and me and Wildspire, that's what we do our stuff on. In fact, I'm pretty sure Ryan is currently brainstorming his next set. I'm gonna, I gotta go do that strap, guys. That strap is going to bother the heck out of me. Because I was like, yeah, I'll totally get this angle. Let me just reposition this guy. Who knows what I went to? I might have even switched paints. I'm being pretty picky right now. His eyes are good, though. That makes me happy. I feel like his eyes are pretty good. Sorry guys, I thought he was in frame. Green. Oh no, my green is almost dried up. I got to use it. I got to use it. Yeah, I will. I will look them up for sure. I am interested. Oh yeah, the strap, guys. That's what I wanted to do. Where is it? Where are you at? There you are. There you are, you pesky little strap. Okay. Sorry, I doubt this angle will be caught on camera. Oh, I hate it. I hate it, guys. Why is it all the way down there? Okay, 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 okay. Not bad, not bad. Mm. Mm. That's not great. <laughs> I just decided to let it go off to the side, uh, and that's not what it does. But most will never be able to <laughs> Okay, okay, that's good. Shut 
是是是是是。OK OK， I think that's good for the green. The hair bands. Oh no, I need to fix up this hair band. I hope I don't have to do any more green clean green green cleanups because this color is dried. Did I start with green? I must have. What's the? Okay, that's fine. That's pretty good. Oh, there's a nice little uh, cleanup needed for skin. I'm very close though. I'm pretty happy with a lot of things on this guy right now. I'm pretty happy. I'm not seeing anything glaring. So. Oh, there's a little more green. Let's go to skin. We'll go to skin cleanups. And then I don't even know. Then it's going to be really searching for something. Oh, I do see a little bit more green. You only have yourself, Table. Welcome. I know, I think a few people just joined us. Maybe this guy is my dwarf druid with his little cactus club and his bird companiones. He's pretty cool looking. Okay, what I say? Skin. I did. I remember. Skin. What else did I have? I saw this little guy right there. Then. Yep. Uh, sure, I could fix that. Yeah, that's good. Face is good. Hand is good. Feet is good. Uh, there's another cleanup. Pretty close to being happy with this. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Okay. Let's do brown. And then. Was there any metal? Not really. Yeah, a little metal. Let's do metal first. Oh, gosh, I'm going to dry out too. Ugh, it's gunky.
I think that's pretty good. I think, feel like I'm getting to the area where I might start messing things up if I am trying to fix them. All right, I'm gonna go to brown. I'm gonna go brown, then I'm gonna think I'm ready for wash washes. I really do. I'm pretty happy with it. I'll give you guys a look before the wash washes. Okay. That looks pretty good. That all looks good. Oh yeah, here we go. Yep, yep, yep. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with yellow too. I don't know if I'm going to mess with yellow. Yeah, he looks pretty good, guys. Let's do these washes. We're gonna add some washes, guys. Let me get you guys a good look, but let me clean this brush first. We're gonna do washes, or we're gonna do highlights. Are we gonna be able to do it in time? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, if you have just joined us, exclamation critical uh, to join the dice giveaway. We'll be doing it here in about 20 minutes, I guess, 20, 30 minutes. US and Canada only. Sorry, chat hunter. <laughs> Did I say that? It is the ours is U.S. and Canada only. Mine is Quebec. Unfortunate. Okay, so what do you guys? Okay, maybe I'll do another uh, layer of yellow. It's pretty good though. Pretty good though. Yeah, let's get these washes done. I'm excited for this. Je suis excite. All right, so black first. Here's the, what's left of my black, my null oil that I ruined. I ruined. That's going in the cape. Nuln oil in the cape. So the Nuln oil, I do um, kind of get rid of a good bit of it on a paper towel before I start adding it. Hey, pups. I hear you. Oh yeah, what's up puppies? What do, you, what do you think? What is going on? What? What? Yeah. What did you not know I was in here? Why are you whining? I swear, I hear this song every time. It's Stand By Me, right? Stand by me. 
I'm not singing right now, apparently. I think it's Stand By. Do 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 Black is doing what it's supposed to do. I love it. I love it. Got to bring it all the way down the base. Heck yeah. Can you all see that on the camera? Look with how that black now lays under this fur. Let me spread down a little bit more. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a heavy pigment in this wash that'll lay the black down just in the deepest parts of the plastic. All right, and to contrast it, I'll probably do another one. I'm gonna let it dry and I'll probably do another one because I, I want it to be dark. Uh, we're gonna do a brown. This one is called We're gonna do uh, shade seraphim sepia. Seraphim, seraphim, seraphim sepia. That'll be the brown wash. Also, it's gonna go in the beard and the hair. And it's going to be pretty awesome. It's gonna make the deepest parts of this beard with all these folds. It's gonna make that be this brown as an accent to this bright yellow. Probably gonna do the brown on the turtle shell helmet too. I think it will serve well there. And the cactus, you think? Let that dry and then we'll go back with another black on the fur. Let's see if we can get Man, I gotta figure out the lighting. It's just never good enough. I wonder if maybe I really just kind of 
just spread it all over this thing. That does seem a little better, maybe. Put it maybe down. Oh, that makes me look really orange. I don't know I like that. No. No, thank you. Fur's got black. Now you can see the ridges in the hair better because the brown is, is sitting in there. The folds of the beard are a little more accented. Because the because the washes. So let's go back to black. don't mind loading this thing up with this black heavy dye because you want it to look like fur you want it to look like there's darker fur under this brown Yeah, now it's getting like more black. This is awesome. Yeah, look at that, how much darker it is in a lot of places. That looks good. All right, let's get some more brown on this beard. Then, highlights, guys. We can do highlights in 20, 20, 30 minutes. 10, 20, 20, 10 to 30 minutes in there. I think so. I believe I am a believer. Do I look like a believer? Come on, Brown. Get in these weaves. Fill it out. The more brown that incorporates into this blonde, the more realistic it looks. Not like... Not like plastic. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that looks good. This is going to look really good. I say to myself, confidently. Yeah, it looks like a tangled mess now. And even though the resolution is, it's because this camera zoomed in really a lot. But um, 
I wonder if this will work better now though. Not really, that's never really worked. Cool. I need to let it dry. We're gonna let it dry for a good couple minutes and then we'll do some highlights. I need to look up again how to highlight fur because I think the highlight needs to be lighter brown than, yeah, that's what it needs to be. I'm gonna do a real light brown. I'm gonna dry brush it. This fur is really amenable to some dry brushing because it's raised. it's raised. So what's gonna happen is there's darker, there's black pigment that's the heaviest down in the cracks. And then there's the brown base layer, the dark brown base layer that I painted on there. So that's what's kind of on the tops. Now I'm gonna dry brush, meaning I'm gonna take all the wet out of the paint on the brush and then just barely go over it to where it's only gonna get the very, very tip tops with a, with a, with a, a, a lighter brown. Probably not as light as I have here but a lighter brown. So I think I went with what? Harvest brown? Yeah, we're gonna go with leather woodland brown. What did I go with? Leather brown? No, we're gonna go with woodland brown for these highlights for the dry brushing. And then for the beard, I could do I could do a lot of stuff. I could do like a light yellow, like a really light yellow. That's probably what I'll do. And just again, kind of just get the top ridges. But that one I'm not going to dry brush. That one I'm going to accent. I'm going to do kind of like this highlight accent thing. Um, so the dry brush is, is going to be the technique for. Is, is this the same color? It's pretty much the same color. Never mind. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the skin tone for the highlight on the uh, here. All right. So here we go. So I have to get all the paint, as much as the paint off the brush that's wet that I can. I was able to almost dry brush like all of that with one application of this color. It's really subtle, but it gives a lot more texture to that fur now. Man, I think that looks pretty good. I don't know if I want to do much more. I think I'll ruin it if I do more. All right, cool, 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 cool. So now I'm gonna do this lighter yellow for the highlight of the beard. big brush to mix these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Uh, I'll go with pure white. I'll go with pure white. I don't mind if that's a bright white. It'll be a bright white. Most of the time I do like a linen color for whites. But for this, I'm just going to take a good amount of pure white and add some of this yellow beard color that's already here to it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. 
yellow. Yeah, that's good. All right, so for this highlight technique, I'm gonna take a pretty small brush. I'm gonna take most of the liquid paint off of it. And I'm gonna just hit these raised areas here. How can y'all see? Can y'all see those marks, those lines? Like on the mustache now. It's hard to see. There's definitely some good highlighted accents there. I'm kind of, there's a lot to do, so I'm just kind of going in a direction. But uh, the back seems good to get kind of finished out early. Good. I need to go around the other side of the head here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Ooh, looking really good. Everyone got real quiet. How's everyone doing out there? 
I'm focusing on some highlights here. This guy's beard is going to be the major highlight of this piece. It's a glorious beard, you gotta highlight it all, right? Isn't that the rule? I think that's the rule. close to being done with this guys. Hey, Cup of Tiefling, how you doing? I'm painting a miniature from my campaign. Uh, he is a Galfarum Dwarf Druid. I really am just finishing him up. I'm really happy with how he looks. Let me see if I can get a much better view of this here. Gotta clean off this brush. Uh, but you came in right at the end. I am going to be ending up here. Because uh, again, when you're when I'm happy with it, I, I just I, I'm done. <laughs> oh, I thought I saw some. No, it's okay. That's just how I do. But yeah, this is a gal from Druid from Salon. Um, Try and get the light better. He's got a glorious golden beard. 
Uh, he has a Swaro Cactus for a weapon. He has a Turtle Shell Helmet. He has a beard. In his beard, he has a bird, like a little bird house with a bird in it. And he's wearing a nice wool, uh, fur cloak. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out, guys. This is one of my best pieces for sure. For sure. I'm really happy with it. Hey guys, thanks for joining. This is going to happen every once in a while. Uh, Wednesday nights is usually when our campaign is. Uh, you can see some of the ad cards and the character cards. That is for the campaign that um, is going to keep going on. We are on episode 6. These guys are just getting their feet under them and they are getting ready to really break open some of these stories here in uh, Salon. So I'm really excited about it. Um, hey, thanks. <laughs> My games, yeah, my games are Wednesday nights, uh, 6 to 9, 15 ish uh, Pacific time. Uh, here on Fable 42. That is the Salon campaign. And you can find, you can catch up on um, the campaign on YouTube. Uh, we have all season episodes 1 through 5 are up on YouTube for sure. Uh, the next two Wednesdays are going to be a kind of, I'm calling it a side quest. It's a two part mini series side story thing. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, I think the players are going to have a lot of fun. There's going to be some secrets. There will be secrets. Um, so yeah, we are going to raid someone, so stick around. Uh, Cup of Tea thing, have you seen the video for that uh, campaign? And if not, would you like to see it before we call it out while I look for someone to raid? Um, hey, thanks. Thank you, Frisky. Uh, I love this video. I'm sorry. I will play it literally three times a stream if I if I can because the art is really cool. Community art. The music I made myself. Uh, obviously, there's from themes that are other people's work, but I made the sounds. And um, the voiceover is a good friend of ours at Fable 22, uh, Eric Bra. Uh, very cool voiceover. Uh, anyway, uh, if not, you can catch it on the uh, YouTube channels, and let's see, is there anyone in the giveaway? Because I know, Chav, you are in the UK, um, no eligible users other than Chav, so uh, let's see it. Cool. Uh, uh, I'm backlogged with Diane Stacks games, sorry. No, it's alright, man. I understand 100%. It is very difficult to add campaigns. I watch Critical Role 2, and I can barely keep up with that. Uh, it's very difficult to keep up with campaigns, but if I yeah, let me play the video Maybe it'll get you a little more interested and then I'm gonna find someone to raid probably a painter I'm gonna try to look for a mini painter uh, So you guys can continue this artistic creative uh, mood if you want. Okay, here's the intro Solon, a world caught just outside the blessed fields of Elysium. Home to the migrated Gardinals, celestial animal kin searching for adventure. The Sun Guard are the protectors of this realm standing against the forces of evil that seek to disrupt a lasting peace. It has been over 100 years since Bell's dark invasion faltered at Boiler Bay. In the north, Helor's warming glow bestows prosperity to the nations of light. But in the south, a new story unfolds. <laughs> 